All right, guys. How's it going? I hope you're doing very well. I had a I had a good chuckle to myself today uh, speaking with another Blender user. And they were basically saying there's not enough lights in Blender, uh, specifically Blender Octane. And I was thinking to myself, are you sure about that? <laughs> I think you might be talking about shit there, mate. Anyway, I want to explain what IES lights are. Uh, they're kind of one of these unsung heroes when it comes to lighting, and there's a really good resource. Now, I covered this about four years ago, and I'm going to do this for Octane. Now, it works in cycles as well. So, an IES light, the best way to describe it is a physical light. Uh, it's pretty much based on real-world data. Now, Maxon has a really good description here. IES stands for Illuminating Engineering Society. How cool is that? Imagine being part of that. The IES data format describes the distribution of a light from a point source. Most major manufacturers uh, of these lights actually provide these profiles for free. Which is why a very kind Blender user has built a library and it's ieslibrary.com. Now, like I said, I covered this four years ago. I'm not sponsored by them. Although they did just recently release a new add-on for Blender that lets you import all of these natively. Might be worth going to the about page and checking it out. But anyway, as you can see, we have thousands of lights, uh, 500,000 to be precise. It's actually maybe worth spending the 30 euros so you can actually search the database and download all of these at once. Um, I'm not on commission, but I think it's actually quite a good deal. But anyway, as you can see, we have a whole bunch of lights and these are really easy to use. You can click on them, download them, ready to go. So let's quickly jump into Blender Octane. I'll just show you the node setup just to save you a little bit of time here. Uh, you have the RGB image, essentially the photo image. It goes into the distribution of the texture emission and this goes into the, a diffuse material and that's your light pretty much set up. Now there's a few things that I would like to point out. So you can see here when you import the image, you actually have IES scaling. Now when you import it, generally it's set on normalised maximum value of 0 to 1 which means you need to put the power up quite a lot, to be honest. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll normalise using the lamp luminance, and you can see it's massive now. So I can go back down to 0 0.2, for example, uh, even lower. Uh, just in case you don't want to put these values massive, or you don't want to keep doing stuff like this, just that option is there. Now you can actually control the power here as well. You can make it really subtle. Really nice, you get these really nice Godre effects if you download the right ones. In fact, let me show you another quick trick while I'm here. Uh, let's quickly zoom in here. So you don't actually have much control over all these lights. Obviously, you can move them left and right. Uh, when you go to rotate, the distribution is always the same. It'll always have the same profile. Uh, think of it kind of like a sunlight. But what you can do is, let me just quickly reset the position. You can actually do a UV transformation. Now, if we hit plus here, nothing will happen unless you move the translation, but you'll end up with kind of something weird going on. So what we need to do is we actually need to do a projection. Uh, and if I go to search, so if I go to A, search, and we look for XYZ to UVW projection, and we can put this into the projection here, and we can put the transformation into the transformation. And as you immediately notice, let's put the power back up. As things have been moved around because I'm using a projection node now. It means I can move the object or I can do rotation here. And it gives me a little bit more control. Yeah, even things like the scale, you can scale these right down. Check this out. You can get some really nice effects with this. And that is pretty much IES Lights. It's a great resource. Uh, I highly, highly recommend especially with the new add-on that the developers just released. Uh, but that's how you use IES lights inside of Blender Octane. Uh, in Cycles, all you do is add an IES node and you're pretty much ready to rock and roll. And that's pretty much it. And of course, because it's a light pass ID, we can exclude these from the stuff. Do me a favour, guys. Take care.